De Colonia. De Col How did you know that? Uh, I, I didn't know. even ask you. Yeah. Should I ask you? Yeah. Okay. Olavo, what does it mean to decolonize? Hmm. Very simply put, to decolonize means to to uh, to uh, get the colonizer out of the country, right? So for Congo, that would mean for uh, for the current, for the modern Congo, that would mean to decolonize would mean that all these companies that are extracting and making a lot of money from mineral resources in the Congo to just kick them out, be like, get out of here. For South Africa, for example, decolonize means, I think, for a lot of the land that is being disproportionately owned by white families and white companies, um, to tell them you're no longer in power, you're no longer in charge. For, um, say, uh, native communities in America, for example, in the Americas, uh, decolonize would be to reclaim and get back their lands that have been stolen and to basically tell the colonizers to just leave, right? And the colonizers have become settlers, right? So they have come to settle and, um, and to decolonize in the context of the colonies would be to get the colonist out and the settler as well. Um, that is what it means to decolonize. I think there is, we talk a lot about decolonization within the context of Europe. So you see a lot of, for example, universities wanna, wanting to decolonize their curriculum. You're seeing a lot of um, organizations with a historical uh, like museums, for example, wanted to decolonize. Well, I think in that context it becomes trickier because um, it is not very apparent within the context, you know, with here being in the settler's home, being in the colonizer's home, it's very difficult to sort of figure out how do you decolonize here. Well, I think that if you're talking about decolonization within this context of being in Europe, it would mean to break with the material um, ties that institutions here in Europe have with uh, the places that are still that we're still colonizing. So, for example, for a museum, it might mean that it returns the the, the artifacts and the art that it holds and return it to where it comes from. For a university. It might mean to uh, actually uh, uh, um, stop with studying other people, you know, just stop it. Stop with the Orientalist departments and, the, and stop with the anthropological uh, 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 professors who are still making a business out of studying um, other people. So um, it is a I think for me, first and foremost, decolonize is a very material severing of the colonial uh, and remaining colonial ties between the West and, and the rest of the world. So, yeah, I could go on a lot about decolonization, but I think we must agree that, first of all, for decolonization to be something that we practice, we must be committed to actually ending the perpetuation of colonial institutions and colonial relationship of extraction and exploitation of places that are still being colonized, which is most of the world. <laughs> hey, I love these Olave Explains. Hashtag Olave Explains. But <laughs> I need your help. I need to know what it is you would like me to explain to you. So please get on our Instagram, Olave Talks, our Facebook page, Olave Talks, and our Twitter, Olave Talks, or in the comments below, and let us know what you would like us to explain to you. What would you like us to explain? We, have, we obviously do not claim or guarantee that we will get it right though. We don't know.